this came about? Well, how did uh, Robbie get to be kid president, and how did you make it happen? Well, we, it, we were, it's actually right at a year ago, we had this idea. We've always made fun videos together as a family, uh, little songs that we just made up. And we thought, let's, let's make a video for the 4th of July. For the, for, we're going to make this holiday video. And instead, we ended up, it didn't go online until the 5th of July. But we put it online, and, and we had a lot of fun making it. And 200 people watched it, and we thought, this is awesome. And then we like, we had fun, so we've made another one. And then more than 2,000 people watched it. And now we've got a video that like 20 million people have seen. Like, did you say, I'm president of all kids? Or did, how did that come about? Did you say, I need to tell my people something? Well, that's kind of both of us. Okay. Like we both were like, we need to make the world awesomer. You also said in your video that adults are boring, like don't be boring. What does that mean? Like how can your brother-in-law, well maybe he's, he's probably not boring, but like Jeff and I, what can we do to be less boring? Stop. What can these guys do? Stop playing bingo. <laughs> He's always saying that. He's like, stop playing bingo, stop playing bingo. And we were at a fast food restaurant recently, and all these elderly people came in, and they started playing bingo. And he looked over at me, and was like, I told you. It's all they do. <laughs> and so he was right. Yeah. So, so what are you going to do when you grow up? Like, what's your aspiration? Are you going to, like, run for public office? Or what's the story? No, if I ran for the president, I would have too much paperwork. <laughs> I mean, um, you saw President Obama. Pre pre he ha has acknowledged your presidency, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was incredible, because all of this was just birthed out of joy. Like, we call it a joyful rebellion, because normally a rebellion is violent and angry, but yeah. this is fueled by a vision, a joyful vision of what could be. Awesome. And so that's what, that's what this all was. What if a kid was in charge? And I think if a kid, uh, if we listen to, if everybody listened to a kid every day, yeah. just one kid, just every day, we would live in a more joyful, peacemaking society, a society where great things happen. And so for the president to reach out to us was huge. Yeah. Uh, and, and then for what's next, we're really excited because we want to activate even more kids to realizing they have a voice.